Hello ladies, um, I'm coming to you today with something a little different um, because my channel is a hair channel but a lot of you have been asking about my nails and stuff so I can't do a tutorial right now but I was thinking of some tips that um, I could give you to help you get started especially for the beginner. Um, at first it's, it can be really hard and if you're not paint if you're not into painting or anything just making a straight diagonal line across your nail could be daunting and can be difficult. So I have a couple of things that you can do um, if you're a beginner and you don't have to go out and really um, buy anything except um, at some point some acrylic paint which is great to have around period just for decorating your nails. I use it a lot and from time to time. But one of the things you probably already have around is thread and I'm using this thread in particular because I figured it was thicker and you could see it. Um, thread makes straight lines and can be used on the nail and thread comes in all kind of colors, widths, sizes, you can get glitter thread, I've used glitter threads and stuff and if you want to, I have a nail set here that is not complete and I figured I'd do this for you while it was not complete but you can take the thread and you can put down some clear polish and you put the thread across your nail however you want it into the clear polish you will then, when you cut the thread, you want to cut it so that it is a little shorter than each end of your nail. If it hangs at all, it can grip, grab, fray, and peel up later. So you want to cut it a little shorter, and then from there, once you have it on the nail and it's swimming in the clear polish, you can you know maneuver it with a toothpick or whatever and get it right where you want it, and it'll help you create some lines, squiggles, diagonals. You can do whatever you want once you have it on the nail swimming around in a nice uh, thick top coat and of course afterward you put a top coat on top. Another thing that's nice to use are pieces of lace. You want thin lace, thicker lace is going to be more difficult to um, cover with your polish but if you have some nice thin lace you can cut it um, you can cut out a, an individual designs from the lace, you can cut out just the mesh from the lace and use that on your nail. You can do all kind of different things with nail art, a nice dark polish and some beautiful lace. Um, and you can just lay that right on the nail and on top of once again a clear top coat and then you know top coat over top and you are done. Another thing I suggest if you are into wanting to paint your nails or um, try different effects, um, learning how to paint with your left hand on your right hand, coat your nails in a base coat of polish and get yourself some craft acrylic paint paints. This one's by Plaid. Um, you can get folk art paint. You can get this is a beautiful copper. It's very shiny, very coppery. Um, usually, you even can't even find. You can find colors there that you can't even find in nail polish. Um, but um, the beauty of this is that once your base coat dries, any painting you do, if you don't like it, you wipe it off with water. Period just water. It's a water base. It will not set until you put your top coat over top of it so you can paint it even pretty much let it dry and you can still wash it off with water as long as you don't top coat it so any mistakes you can just play around with it and not even ruin your plain nail set if you paint your your nails in a plain color. Um, so you can this is excellent to practice with and to use um, it's also good for trying ombre effects with a uh, makeup sponge um, make, makes a beautiful now it, it usually goes on depending folk art paint more so um, this is a high gloss that I use but um, they can go on kind of dull but once you put your top coat on beautiful marbly shine um, so that's another um, the third thing are um, powders acrylic powders uh, mica powders um, you can get them in Michaels um, you can use eyeshadow if you have a nice highly pigmented eyeshadow um, get yourself some of the nail adhesive that's used for gold foiling paint your nail with the nail adhesive um, just swipe uh, take a brush load it swipe it across the nail with your uh, 
eyeshadow and you will get a beautiful shimmery effect a beautiful for creating ombre too because they don't they mesh very well they, you don't get straight lines in it because it's powder um, beautiful marbling effect um, you can like I said eyeshadow or powders that are used with um, clays and things like that in the craft section of the store so those are just some quick tips for the beginner for someone who wants to practice and you know not make too much of a mess. The other nice thing about using acrylics is even like when you when you're doing your ombre effect and you're having the um, use the makeup sponges, anything on your hands, you do not have to worry about once your nails dry, it you can do like this and just get it off, or you can wash your hand, it'll come off once again. It's water-based. So anything even on that gets all around your cuticle and on your hand is just going to wash off anything not coated in a clear top coat. So I hope these tips help and I will talk to you ladies soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.